That supposed spoiler about Jamie's fate in the final season isn't actually a spoiler. I think. This video, I want to talk about the leak that Jamie may die by episode 4 and Tyrion's actor Peter talking about his character's love for Danny and what he thought about boat sex. Spoilers for season eight. So first, by now you've probably heard that supposed spoiler about Jamie's fate in the final season, which again, might not actually be a spoiler. Maybe. So Jamie's actor Nikolai is currently being sued by his former agent. The agreement to resolve the case has what some were considering evidence Jamie dies early in the season. Well, midway, there's only six episodes. The agreement showed what Nikolai was paid to appear in only four episodes of the six in season eight. Which means he must die in the final season, right? Well, obviously Jamie's gonna die in the final season, perhaps even in episode four. Except there's a lot going on in that document. First and foremost, a lot of news outlets didn't report about another page in that document, which clearly shows Nikolai was paid for all six episodes in the final season. It does seem weird these episodes were listed separately, but most of us probably don't know exactly everything that is going on with this document. We can guess all day and add our own opinion, but that's all it would be. I mean, this could mean he actually only appears in four episodes, but was still paid for two extra he wasn't in due to his contract negotiations. But even if he was only paid for four episodes, or hell, even if he was paid for all six episodes, but only appears in four, that doesn't mean that he dies in episode four. Maybe it takes an entire episode for him to get to Winterfell. Maybe he doesn't show up until episode three and joins in on that epic fucking battle at Winterfell that we're getting that I'm so fucking excited about. Nikolai has talked about how Jamie's journey is going to take a really long time, so maybe we just don't see him for the first episode or two. Though I thought time jumps was going to take care of that, but maybe not. So even if Jamie is in four episodes, he could still die in five, not four. Or hell, even six. Which honestly, I think a lot of people believe Jamie dies this season. There's way too much setup for it. And him dying while fighting next to Brienne in the north would be fabulous. Or him dying with Cersei. Or him killing her then dying. I don't know. Again, I just don't see Jamie making it to the end. But you can take some swings about what you think this document means and tell me your opinions about Jamie's fate in the final season in the comment section down below. Next, I want to talk about Tyrion's feelings for Danny and Peter Dinklage talking about Tyrion's thoughts when he saw that epic boat sex. Well, he didn't actually see the, the boat sex. I'm not saying that Tyrion's a creeper and was peeping on them. I mean, he's... He, Fuck you, you know what I meant. After Peter first joked that Tyrion was thinking, keep it down over there, I'm trying to get some sleep. He gave a great answer, saying in an interview, no, ah, uh, it's complicated. A lot of the time with Tyrion, it's professional and personal. Obviously he has feelings for Daenerys. He loves her, or thinks he does. She's awe-inspiring. He's questioning that because he doesn't have a good track record for falling in love. There's jealousy wrapped up in there. And he loves Jon Snow too. They're the two people he has the most in common with in a way. They're both outsiders in their own families who have refused to follow the path their family has taken. And hopefully, for the better. He's wondering how smart of a move Jon and Danny getting romantically involved is, because passion and politics don't mix well. He knows the two of them getting together could be very dangerous. I can see Tyrion's point of view where he might feel he can't be as close to Danny anymore if those two are hooking up. I've seen plenty of times friends have hooked up and while they're banging each other like bunnies, they're kind of distant from the rest of the friend group until they get over that phase. It can be kind of weird sometimes. But jealousy here could be very dangerous. Tyrion does have a woe is me problem and he may blame why he can't be with someone he's in love with on his appearance or status. Then of course the logical side of him that realizes the danger in hookups. Especially with the alliance they currently have and if Jon and Danny's relationship ends poorly. One or both of them might even make poor decisions based on feelings for one another, whether that is love, passion, hate, anger, or whatnot. Once you make things personal, things can get out of hand quickly. Remember that thing about not dating coworkers or shitting where you eat? It's actually really good advice. Oh yeah, and some guy said I'm not allowed to whisper during my video, so I just had to add this in real quick. <laughs> now I really want to see how Tyrion handles this in the final season. Though if I'm being honest, my theory is Danny and or Jon die in the final season, so I don't think he's gonna have to deal with this problem for long. But let me know what you think about these reveals in the comment section down below and have a fantastic weekend. Oh, 
And don't forget to punch an orphan. And if you feel bad about it, they shouldn't have let their parents die.